In just a short time from now, we will get to witness what could be, for many of us, a once-in-a-lifetime celestial event. And to get you ready, we are speaking with the experts this morning. We're joined now by Julie Balduc Duval, the director of Discover the Universe, which is a national astronomy education program. Thanks so much for being with us today on this big day, Julie. I am happy to be here. All right, we're talking about all things eclipse, obviously. What should families be doing right now to prepare to view this eclipse? The um, Actually, so if you have eclipse glasses, obviously we want certified eclipse glasses. That's the safe way to look at the sun. But if you don't have eclipse glasses, there are ways to observe indirectly. And this will sound silly, but anything like any kitchen utensils that has holes in it, like a colander or a spatula or something that has a holes, you can put in the sun and look at the shadow it will project. And through the, sh through the holes, you will see the, the, the image of the sun. So that's a safe way to do it indirectly. Um, so hopefully you all get clear skies. I know the forecast is not the best, the best over the GTA today, but if you get you know a bit um, of the sun there between 2.15 and 4.35 or so, or something like that, uh, make sure to go outside and try to see that. And even if it's cloudy around the maximum, around 320, uh, go outside, it will be darker. Uh, so that will definitely be something to experience. You know, based on your advice, I'm picturing people going through their kitchens right now, opening up their kitchen cabinets, looking for something that's handy. Now, you have actually traveled to take in this experience before. Can you talk to us what it's like? And I'm wondering, too, you know, even if you're not in the path of totality and with those clouds, what it might feel like here? It, I think it will get darker. I've never lived a 99 point something eclipse under the clouds, so I can't tell for sure exactly how dark it will get, but it will be noticeably darker by then. So um, make sure you go outside to observe it. For those of you who travel to the path of totality, uh, it will get much darker. Like this, this fraction of a percent makes a big difference. So it will get darker. Obviously, we hope for clear skies so you can see the solar corona, the best view. I'm actually super lucky where I'm based right now. It is a beautiful sunny day. Um, but yeah, no, definitely people can still enjoy the moment or there will be watch it live as well online. Uh, the Dunlap Institute has a live viewing um, projection uh, between two and four today. So you can check that as well. And of course, we'll have it here live on City News 24 seven real quick for us. Can you break down kind of the timeline? What exactly is going to hit across this, you know, the stretch across North America? So for us, it's going to be happening in the afternoon. So depending on where you are and hold on, I'm checking the exact timing for Toronto. It starts at uh, 2.04 p.m., 2.05 p.m. The maximum is at 3.20 p.m. So that's when the moon will cover 99.9% of the sun, pretty much. And then it will end around 4.31. So depending if you are further east or west, it might vary for by a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, so that's between 2 and 4.30, 2.05 and 4.30 with the maximum varying around 320. I appreciate that breakdown. Julie Bolduc Duval, the director of Discover the Universe. Thanks so much for your insight today. Enjoy the eclipse. Thank you. You too. Bye.